Hey guys, it's Rooster here. I just wanted to give you all another shout out here. If you all remember on my last video, I discussed with you all about Barack Obama being in the hotel when Whitney Houston had passed away at, at the Beverly Hills Hilton Hotel in Beverly Hills, California. And this is the actual political uh, report of that, of that statement that I made on the last, on the last video. Today we got breaking news, and uh, if you all remember, I told you that the, that the Secret Services were in the hotel exactly on the day that Barack Obama or that uh, Whitney Houston had passed away. And so today we got confirmation that this report that you're seeing right here in my hands is actually confirmed. We got an audio confirmation of uh, one of the staffers working in the in the Beverly Hills uh, Hilton. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to let you all hear. Uh, it's about uh, it's, it's about six minutes and twenty six seconds uh, audio. So I want to let you all take a chance in listening to this. This is breaking news, and this is extremely very powerful. And I'll explain to you here as soon as you hear it. Okay, okay. Thank you for calling the Beverly Hills. Good morning. Thank you for calling the Beverly Hills. Okay, one moment for reservation. Okay, thank you. Hi, Ashley. How can I help you? Hi, Ashley. Uh, my name is Anne. I wanted to book a uh, room for my family for the week of the March break. I can definitely assist you with that. What date will you be arriving here, ma'am? Uh, March uh, 15th till the 17th. On Yep. Thank you. And checking out March 22nd? No, 17th. Let me check that for you. Are you part of any organization? Uh, no. Oh, I yes. see. Yes, yeah. Um, let me give you some, let me check. How about this one? We have a free paid rate here. And you can do that for three days? Every night. Now, while I have you on the phone, we want to also make it like a historical visit because we understand an icon passed away there and may she rest in peace. Um, but I was wondering if we can get a different floor other than the fourth floor. We can request that one because right now we don't have the option to guarantee the exact location of your room. But the thing I request you will be... Uh, your reservation will be put on our priority list. Okay. So that's to be uh, on a specific room look out because it's four of our hotel here, specific okay. level of our floor. Or if we can even have the floor that um, I know the Secret Service White House staff stayed at where Obama was doing a meeting, if we can get that floor too, if that's okay. I can note that for you. I can go ahead and note that request already here. Okay. And what floor was that? Um, let, me, let me check. Okay. Hold on a second. Where your room will be uh, located. What, um, you call this, what floor would you like to be placed? So I can note that here. Uh, we wanted the floor that the uh, White House staff stayed at. Just so that the kids White can House. be part, that the kids could be part of history. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you can give me that, that would be great. That way the kids would be excited to look forward to it. Oh, sure. I'll make a note. White House staff, um, usual... Oh, yeah, hold on. More level. Okay, noted here about that request. So right now, we didn't have the option to confirm it. Um, as much as we would like, as soon as we have this room available on that floor, we definitely provide you that, okay? That was the 11th floor, right? Um, that one I can't confirm because we, Francis is the one who knows the room location. Can I hold it for a minute too? I'll check if I can get the answer for you. Okay, thank you so much. Welcome. Give me two minutes, okay? Okay, thank you. Welcome. Hello? Yes. Okay, it will be actually at the 8th floor. Oh, he stayed at the 8th floor? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Okay, that's my kid's favorite number. <laughs> well, actually, let me go ahead and note that for you. Okay, that would be perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. So he stayed at the eighth for floor. You? Okay. White House. Now, um, Obama and his staff all stayed on the eighth floor. You said, right? Yes, ma'am. So, how's the weather over there? Right. How's the weather where you're at, in Beverly Hills? Um, we have a. Not so 
cloudy day for now. Let me give you, would you like to get a, a week um, or five day forecast? Oh, no, I'm just asking you how the weather is over there. Small talk? Okay. <laughs> My nice sunny day here. Okay. In fact, this will be um, same weather for all week. Oh, nice. Hopefully we get a good vacation at your hotel. I assure you on that. Know that you're ready your request that you would like to be on the week four where the White House staff always stays. Oh, okay. That's great. Thank you. Now, if you can email me all the information that you have. Hello? I'm still here. Hello. Sorry about that. You know what? I'm going to call you right back. Okay. That's okay. Okay. So, one more time just to go over everything to make sure I have it all right. Three days. Okay. Eighth floor, the same floor as the White House staff, right? For sure? Yes, ma'am. Um, this reservation is as um, so I'm not yet booking it or confirming it here because it requires a credit card. So when you call us back, it will be a whole new reservation. You have to provide your arrival and checkout date, the number of guests, and your request too. Okay. My advice to call us as soon as you got your credit card because the rate that I'm quoting you and the room size are subject to change. So I'm okay. afraid you might get a higher rate. I'm of sorry. Or the room no, I understand. I really appreciate your patience. Let me just write this down quickly. Uh, my husband has a surgery later this afternoon, and we're just really busy. Um, can you just go over everything one more time so I can write it down, please? Sure. From March 15th, Thursday, arrival date, out on the 8th and Sunday, three nights, two, two adults and two kids not smoking. Advance, which is the name of the prepaid rate, for one uh, for two hundred sixty-seven dollars and seventy-five cents. Yes. Okay. There's the two clean beds, uh, two double beds, standard room. Okay, on the eighth floor. Yes, ma'am. Regarding that, you just have to inform the next representative that you would like to be on the eighth floor, where the White House staff always stay. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. And your name again? Sorry. Awesome. This is Ashley. Ashley, thank you so much, Ashley, for your help. Much appreciated. You're welcome. Wow. There you have it. Okay, so there you have it, guys. Uh, confirmation from Beverly Hills uh, Hilton Hotel out of Beverly Hills, California. Confirming the fact that Barack Obama did stay in the hotel in, in the week when uh, Whitney Houston passed away. Okay, first of all, let me go ahead and let you all know and, and reaffirming with you guys what she said. Barack Obama and the staffers have always stayed in this hotel on the 8th floor. Okay, this is what they're saying. Now, 8 is a significant number because it also represents the 44th president when you divide it by half. It also symbolizes infinity and by the numerological value of, numer of, of uh, the zodiac. So, when you're looking at all this information, and you, then also you go back into looking at the information on the report uh, that was on the Politico, where it said that uh, Barack Obama showed up four days exactly after Barack Obama had, or uh, Whitney Houston had passed away, and he showed up at 4:40 p.m. Okay, and this is four days exactly four on the fourth uh, day of the week that he showed up there, and the significance of the number four. Four is very significant in the, in the ideology behind the, num the numerological value of the Illuminati. They use this number very well as a way of of uh, showing in uh, superiority, okay, infinity, one who comes in power, great power, and that is continuous into infinity, right? So you look at the uh, also it's a symbol of the 44th president. Which you, this is the reason why you've seen him showing up at 4:40 p.m. and the reason why you've seen him showing up exactly four days after her death and the fourth day of the week. And you add those two numbers up again. There's 44. Now, but only one problem. Do we have actual facts or proof that he actually showed up four days after her death? Or did he actually show up on the day of her death as it, we have right here reported that it says that the Secret Services were there on the day of her death? This is on this political report that stated that. So I wanted to make sure that all of you all understand that. Okay, it says right here exactly that uh, the Secret Services were in the hotel on the day of, of Whitney Houston's death. Okay, and but the problem is, is we don't have any real confirmation they could have been there the whole week for all we know they could have been there a week long before even Whitney Houston even arrived at the hotel so because they said that this is quite normal for the White House staffers to stay there so 
this is a, 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 a hiding ground or a camp out for you know for White House uh, staffers and uh, and Secret Services. So this hotel is very highly secured, and it's a it's a very, it's a stomping grounds for White House. And I'm kind of wondering why, but I mean that's something we're going to uh, look into later on. I'm gonna I'm gonna make that as my other uh, focus point is why the White House is constantly staying in this particular hotel, but. The significance and the magnitude of this particular video and audio confirmation of Obama being in this hotel is the fact that we have a president that's in the same hotel where a highly high level recognized icon singer artist and uh, pop star singer Whitney Houston had passed away. I told you in the previous videos that I've made that I believe in all of my investigations and research around and surrounding this story. I have believed that Whitney Houston was murdered and we and I have told you all that I do believe that this was a ritualistic murder and it was a blood sacrifice unto the pagan god that that the secret societies worship and one of those pagan gods that they do worship and give glory to is the antichrist and does Barack Obama represent that antichrist I happen to believe so I believe that he represents one of the antichrists that all Christians are looking for in the Western society, in the Western Christianity system. And this is what I believe that he represents. And I believe that Whitney Houston's death was a gift under sacrilege, sac sacrifice, blood ritual uh, unto Barack Obama. And I believe that he went there to this hotel to receive his gift in spiritual awakening. In other words, He's, he had now made, he has received it spiritually into his heart, the death of the soul of this, of this beautiful woman who died. So keep that in the back of your mind when you, when you listen to this information. So, and another thing here, guys, is that uh, I know that a lot of you are going to disagree with this interview and to disagree with this, with, this, with this particular video right here. I'm giving it my best of researching as deep as I can to all of this. Everything that, I, that I'm catching is also the first time you're hearing it as it is for me. I'm trying to make wind of all this, okay, but it is very shocking, it is very disturbing that we have a President of the United States in the same hotel exactly in that moment of when Whitney Houston passed away. And, and nobody's saying nothing. The media is not even talking about this. They, they hadn't even. This is the only report on one piece of paper that's reported about Barack Obama being there, and then and it's a legitimate report, not something that's coming from some kind of blogger, some kind of wacko who just decided to be uh, a government conspiracy nutcase. This is actually coming from a legitimate uh, website, uh, news uh, agency that reported this uh, this information. But it's not on television. It's not on radio. It's simply on the internet and this is and that, that's even more disturbing but this time we confirmed it in audio we confirmed it by calling this the hotel to confirm he was in that hotel so but this is what we need to do guys we need to keep our eyes open on this because I do believe that Barack Obama was a lot was there a lot more for reasons than just being there for fundraising and I find that fundraising event as very suspicious. Why in this moment of the Grammy is he decided to go there to get a fundraiser? And how did, and, you know, did he already have full knowledge that there was going to be a Grammy held in that particular, uh, in that particular uh, hotel? Did he have full knowledge that, you know, that they, that he's supposed to be there? Somebody gave him forehand knowledge that there was something, a big event that was going on in that hotel. He would not have been there if he didn't know that. So, because he wanted to be there where the big wigs and the big money is at in the moment when they were there. So, if he's doing his fundraiser, this played a good role of being there in the moment when a Grammy was happening. So, just keep that in the back of your mind, guys. And by saying that, I do want to say good night to you all. And I want to thank you all of my subscribers for, uh, for writing their comments and uh, posting all of their remarks on the videos that I have made previously. And I am trying to get to all of you guys, and it's just really hard because I have several thousand uh, people reporting, you know, and making comments in different websites besides just YouTube. I also have God Like Productions. So, anyhow, guys, there you go. I'll, take, I'll talk to you all next time. Y'all have a good night. Thank you.